car, no problem. As long as you are a registered voter, there's a group that will pick you up and take you to the polls to make sure your vote counts. In the upcoming election, WRTV's Troy, Troy Washington explains how the effort started and why it's much needed in Marion County. We know that transportation is a major obstacle for a lot of Marion County residents and we wanted to be able to provide a service um, that was both focused in voter registration, voter education and transportation. Go Vote Indy started after three strangers met while protesting for change in May. The trio decided to make sure Hoosiers made it to the polls, even if they didn't have a ride. We met during the protests down at the Monument Circle. Justin, Amy and Lindsay got volunteers signed up to drive voters to polling places. Today we caught up with Amy to tag along for one of those rides. I signed up on um, at, at the bus transit center and they said they could give me a ride. Erica Kasulis is working to save money to buy a car, but right now she's relying on public transportation to get around. Since Go Vote Indy is taking her to vote today, she's got one less thing to worry about. We'll be doing this on election day. For early voting, um, we will be offering rides um, until Thursday, uh, October 22nd. The group says they get it. Some voters feel more comfortable voting in person and may be skeptical about mail-in voting. So that's why they exist. Riders concerned about the safety of it all, Go Vote Indy showed WRTV how they are taking away those fears. Uh, in total for early voting, I think we are looking at a little over 20 rides. Organizers say they've waited in lines up to four hours, but it is worth the wait to make sure that every voter makes it to the polls. On the ride over to vote, Casulis checked out Voter 411 to read up on candidate platforms to get all of her pre-voting jitters out. Any nerves or did you feel a little more informed or? I feel a little better, yeah. Working for you downtown, Troy Washington, WRTV. And we have info on where you can go to sign up for a ride to the polls when you read this story on WRTV.com.